We have less than two weeks to go before the Vermont City Marathon. Every year, the event brings thousands of runners and even more spectators to our region, which means it's also an event local businesses look forward to all year. NBC5's Anna Goober checked in with some of them along the marathon route. She joins us live on Pine Street on miles 1 and 14, also known as. And Anna, the countdown is on. How are they feeling? Lauren, there's definitely excitement as we're getting ready to welcome the thousands of runners and even more spectators coming out to the city, all to cheer them on during the Vermont City Marathon. Businesses tell me they're just excited to welcome everyone coming out and for the big support they're expecting it'll bring to businesses throughout the Queen City. The countdown is on. Here we go, gang. Well done, well done. To the Vermont City Marathon. We are ready for everybody to come in. Brio Coffee Works sits right on the marathon route where the smell of coffee brewing is almost as strong as the excitement they're feeling here before the big day. Co-owner Magda Van Dusen is prepared to welcome thousands of people from across the country and even around the world to the Queen City. Tourism is such a such an important part of Burlington, absolutely, but Vermont overall. And um, we're just always grateful for people to come and visit our beautiful state. Van Dusen and her husband started the coffee shop 10 years ago, but it was only in the last five years that they found a new home for their beloved business on Burlington's Pine Street. The concept behind this space is primarily to be an open roastery where people could just come in through the door. We don't have any dividers between our production space, so people could kind of peek over and a little bit under the hood of how we roast coffee and then this building and uh, this space was just so beautiful and large that we really wanted to uh, invite the customer a little bit more to hang out. Now she's extending that invitation to everyone for Marathon Weekend and she's not the only one. I know all the businesses here are really excited to welcome visitors uh, whether it's from the marathon or just a weekend visit from out of town. We love having visitors here. A strong start to the summer tour tourism season. We've sort of opened up that period between the end of ski season and when the heart of summer tourism starts. Ron Vermont's executive director Joe Connolly says this used to be a quiet time for businesses before the marathon came around. I remember before the VCM got going in the late 80s, um, Vermont uh, or Burlington specifically was a little quiet right through July 3rd. But now it's a very different picture. You're going to have uh, full restaurants definitely make your uh, reservations early and uh, you know hotels and everything. Thing. Everything we hear is um, they're doing very good with um, with bookings. As the marathon approaches, Van Dusen is ready to enjoy every minute of it. She says if you don't see her behind the coffee counter, she'll be cheering for the runners on the sidelines. I know that runners appreciate that, so that's my favorite part of it. And with just two weeks to go until Marathon Weekend, you can count on NBC5 to bring you all the highlights all weekend long. So be sure to follow along with us as we continue the countdown to Vermont City Marathon Weekend. But for now, we're live in Burlington, Anna Goober, NBC5 News.